I've noticed that there seems to be a complete lack of any type of follow-up training for armed church security. Uh, everyone goes to the range and they shoot and they shoot and they shoot, which is good. They become very good at hitting uh, what they're aiming at from different distances, from different shooting positions, but then the training seems to stop right there. Police officers go to scenario decision-making drills often consistently and frequently for hours. We would go through drills where we had to think on our feet and try to uh, determine what type of uh, use of force, what level of use of force we're going to use. And then on top of that, once lethal force is used, we need to consider what to do afterwards. First aid, get on the radio. There's a lot of things that can be thinking about and, and, and uh, to consider. So I've decided to create a training program right now specifically geared towards armed church security right here to give them an opportunity to go through some dynamic realistic scenarios, uh, decision-making drills, and then uh, if, if a situation warrants where lethal force is applied, well now we're gonna go, we're gonna go through the after shooting uh, actions and procedures. We're gonna have you uh, think about what you need to do um, specific for your church and your situation. Um, you're gonna, we're going to develop teamwork and team camaraderie and stuff like that. And that's why my classes for this is going to be limited to about 10 people. Uh, once a lethal force situation um, occurs, everyone on the team that evening for the training becomes involved. Just like in real life, everyone's going to have a role to play and we're going to start implementing that through these training scenarios. It's not just for the two, three people who actually go through that specific scenario. Everyone becomes involved once a decision is made to turn into a lethal force encounter. Um, ideally, I'm going to try to have an attorney from the prosecutor's office come and do a talk also because after all, it's the prosecutor's office that's going to take a hard look at you to make sure that it's a righteous shoot, that you did everything right. But barring that, we're going to have a class on, uh, on the things to consider and the things to go through, uh, again, after shooting, escorting people out, first aid, rendering aid, checking, on, checking each other out. So uh, give me a call, contact me, we'll get together, we'll come up with a game plan for you and your team. We're going to do some training. We're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot. We're going to have a blast.